Hello everybody and welcome back to Gasoline Knight's channel. So today I will be teaching you guys how to make a Genite Academy server, which I have promised to do for quite a while. And I already have one set up, but I will be teaching you guys the basics and what to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you need to go to your browser. I use Opera because it's easy to navigate. And go find if you want a J A plus server, which is extra stuff and everything, grapple, um, different sabers, saber colors, stuff like that. You just go type in J A plus um, server files, or you can do like server side stuff like that. I I always use server files, but it doesn't seem to want to work today. Or you can use this site right here if it's still up. And we'll find out here shortly if it is. This is, so uh, this is where I get my server files. So you hit download. I already have them, so. You know, I just clicked it. I still already have it. See. So I'll just use mine. Alright, so I'm going to go to my downloads. Or wherever you put the download folder. And you go find it. Alright, so here's what you guys do. You extract all of these into your um, JK folder. And what you do is, let me go to my JK folder. Um, let's see, start JK plus, open file location. Alright, so these are the files you get. What you want to do is this one, actually you can use any of these, but you want to create a shortcut on the desktop. And then you want to go to edit. And it'll look something like this, except for this will be um, like this. You don't want that. Or so it can connect unless you open that port. And then use that port. So what you want is 29070. And some, some of this will have spaces in between it. You want to remove the spaces. And... Like, not all of them, but there'll be like two spaces per certain areas. Remove one space. This will be set to 14, so you can change it to 32, which is max. Hit file, save, and that part's done. Alright, let's get into the server files now. So, go J plus. Right here is your server file. I already have mine set up. I will be changing all of this. So, this is your Archon password. This is so you can use like change map and stuff like that through programs such as UU, which is this, and other things. You can use Archon commands in game with the password. In order to set a color like this, it would be red when people connect. And this would be black, but sometimes black doesn't work. You want to change this to 32 as well. So that the server actually recommend, um, recognizes it. Alright, so here are the different game types. Obviously, zero is FFA, so I would set the FFA. If you want um, a, if you want bots, set this to four or however many you want. Uh, and then these are very important. Don't change these unless you know what you're doing, because with tire gravity, you're get crushed with too low you won't come back down um timeout is basically when they're just gonna time out for being pinged and stuff like that warm up you don't really need i just left it let's see um allow vote obviously if you want people to be able to vote on your server they can use this but well, you can set this to zero to allow it one is deny, so I have it set off. If you don't want a time limit, put zero. I mean, uh, fragment, put zero, and then put time limit 90 if you want. Mine set up for uh, the same exact thing as KR, which is my clan server. All this stuff is pretty basic. And then you got the admin settings. So, council, well, council, knight through master, and Jedi to Jedi adept. And if you want council to have every single command, you do this one. I'll show you a program that you can use to get the proper C vars and everything like that. 
Actually, let me show you that right now. So what you do, go to Google, or if you're using Opera, just click this little bar, and type in JA plus, oops, JA plus, CVAR, um, uh, crap, what was it? CVAR numbers, or you can type in, uh, admin allow, I think. I haven't tried that one yet. So when it loads, you want to look for something like Java or stuff like that because they have a link that you can use. So what we will do is JA plus bit rate calculator and that will come up. So you can use this to get everything proper with the um, force and all that, like, if you want only Saber, you can use this, the bitrate calculator, which is really recommended for using a bitrate calculator. It'll help keep people from being able to use weapons, force, whatever you want them to not be able to use. Even, um, some, some, uh, What's emotes? Sorry, couldn't think of it. So certain emotes are able to be disabled because people like to abuse them, like M kiss and stuff like that. So that's how you do that. And there will be a link to all this in the description, so don't worry about that. Star Trek teleport is basically Star Trek. You basically don't get beamed up, but you just like fade in and then reappear. So, I have that off so it's the normal actual light teleport. God talk, you can't get hurt when talking. Uh, inactivity, inactivity protector timer. Not really sure what that is. This one, people can't hurt you and you can't hurt them when you're dueling except for the other person you're dueling. No auto replies for like you, you, and it'll basically let them reply automatically. That's why I have it set to zero. Then we got the anti-spam, pretty self-explanatory. You can have, you can set how many connections you can connect from one computer on one um, internet. So like if two people are on the same internet, you just put this on one if you don't want them both connecting. Say so there's a troublemaker you got. Put that to one, if his brother's not a troublemaker and he is, you can put that to one and the troublemaker can't connect. If he's second. Not quite sure though, I haven't used it, I haven't gotten to test it. Um, this, you don't want on, because that's, whenever they join, they can't do anything unless they switch dimensions, and it's no fun, because most people don't know how. This is your clan pass, clan tag, basically, you need a clan pass and allow a clan tag. If you don't have a clan tag, or if you don't have a clan pass, anyone can use your clan tag. Now, with the clan pass, if they put your clan tag on, it'll change them to Padawan if they don't know your clan pass. Alright, next is the anti-cheat. This is very helpful. Um, but I'm not quite sure how to use it. I know anti-hack model keeps them from being able to crash other players with a hack model, which is very helpful. So you might want to keep that on disable. Alright, and then we have the filter. You set it up however you want. Uh, mod scale, that's always fun, but it's for um, damage speed and model scale, so. Alright, now we get into the higher stuff. Ledge grab is basically if you jump towards a ledge, you can literally grab onto it and pull yourself up. I turn it off because it's kind of annoying when you're trying to do certain things. Um, and if you want base damages with J, you go to. Where is it? Um, where you would go is somewhere where it says base. I don't remember where that's at. Oh, ultra damage. You can use this and put it at, I think, zero for base. But I used the website to set all of my configs up. And all this is your admin commands, like if you slap someone or sleep someone, for example. This right here means player and is falling asleep. So, and you got the saber damage, Sivar, yeah, 
quite a time it went down here, but Saber SP style damage is base basically. Saber touch is they can just stand there with their saber and hitting you with it without even attacking. So, keep that in mind. All these are the damages. You can change them however you want. Oh, and, um, single player st style damages also, um, change block rates. So, changes it to base. And then, server map launchings. If you want it only to be, like, one map, just set one map. You can change the map manually. Like, right now it's set to FA3, which is Tatooine. So, if I do map map mp slash ff ffa5 now watch i'll save it and let me go launch the server now keep in mind you do have to port forward i'll leave the ports in the description for you guys because it's only um 29,070 to 29,071 that's all it is and this is what you looks like with the whole interface of servers. Yeah, see how it says my server is still offline? I just have to go port for it again. So let me go do that. And once it loads, all right. So advanced, advanced setup, port forward. Oh uh, yeah, see, these are the ports you need. Well, actually, I only have one port, but that's okay, because that's really the only one you need. Alright, and then... Apply... Alright, now... Close that, and launch it again. Oh, there we go. Alright, see how it says it's on now? And it says it's FFA5. Which is the map with lava at the bottom. So now, if we go in, and keep in mind my game likes to crash the first launch, like that for example. It will crash once and then it won't crash again for the rest of the day. So I have to launch it twice. And see how it's putting the bots in? Now, if you guys want to know how to set this up for Hamachi, I can do a tutorial on that too. I hate Hamachi though, I prefer legit hosting because Hamachi is stupid. Oh hey, black does work, I guess red doesn't, if you use one. But see how it says everything I had set up? And then, now that I'm in game, see, you see everything works, I can log in. And the login you do slash m login and then your password which is case sensitive. Oops. See? Now I can just say I can slap. I can I can imp myself, which is force powers. I just shocked the loot guys. Got my lightsaber. Um, so these are the features that um, J plus adds. You got black and white sabers. You got more saber styles. I like the dragon wing. Oh, and if you do RGB, you can change it to flame so I'll go flame two. Another one black. So you can see it moving around with the saber that looks like a flame. And so far that is all you guys really need to know. So, have fun and enjoy your new server guys. Peace out.